Yeah, the, uh, well, the question in this video to be answered is quite a simple one. Have I found another favourite golf club of 2022? I just might well have done, you know. All will be revealed very, very shortly. You see, when you're testing clubs virtually every other day, then it's very easy to be excited by something that new that comes along. But in this product I'm referring to today, it is without doubt potentially another favorite golf club of mine that's been released in 2022. But to be fair, so could that golf ball I'm using. On the title of this video, you do know it's just to, uh, well, it's just to, uh, just to wind you lot up. Yeah, you see, many of you will be having all kinds of hernias in that comments box below. You can't have another favorite product of 2022. And uh, you're possibly right, maybe I can't, but I like it. And uh, it is right up there with the very best products that I've tried this year. You see, the thing is, this putter I'm using from TaylorMade, the new Spider GT split back, well, I mean, that's just an incredibly good product. This ball I'm using now, which is the tour response with the, with the bold lime green alignment aid, that's another really good product. And that is a birdie. Get in. So based on what we've just seen, maybe my favorite product of 2022 is not one, maybe it's a combination of putter and ball, but it's not. And drivers this year have also been, well, pretty phenomenal to be fair. In fact, the Rogue and the Stealth to me have been two breakthrough products yet again. In terms of consistency and forgiveness, not about distance, but again, two products that came onto the market in early this year and to me really special products for 2022 but they're not my favorite product of the year you see the thing for me over this last year or so maybe even more on the channel is whilst drivers have been fantastic and uh, maybe forgiveness has improved and we certainly know that ball speeds not necessarily at the center of the face have improved we know that's limited so the gains have got to be made from elsewhere and it's a style and a genre of club that yet again this product comes from and it's from hybrids yeah my current favorite product of uh, 2022 if you watch this channel is the stealth hybrid that i've got in the bag right now the reason i like it is because it just performs incredibly well in terms of all the data numbers in terms of how it launches ball speeds distance carry descent angle it's a real versatile club to have in the bag. And this is another one. I don't say it's my favorite, but it's certainly an option that is right up there with the stealth. And the only issue I've got is I'm in a really tight hole with a lot of water. And this is about money where your mouth is and. Let's see how good this club is, because I'm also filming this clip for my, uh, my score in terms of nine holes over this course. Don't let me down. Oh, and that's why. I mean, this club is phenomenal. I'll give you the details on this very, very shortly. That is position A. And it's exactly these reasons why we need to start moving away from the kind of uh, the glory sticks that are there, which are the drivers, and start concentrating on the area in which I think that improvements have been made in terms of technology, and that's fairway woods and hybrids. But in particular, this hybrid does things really, really well. My new favourite club is under what is arguably the best head covers that you can get, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, it's from a brand that I'm, uh, well, I'm fond of. Irons are in the bag. It's from PXG. That head cover is just absolutely perfect. It's made of a premium fabric on the outside and on the in. They fit perfect, as do they with the driver, fairways and everything else. That's the first good point. Second point is how good these are. 0311 XF is the model that I play in. There's a straight up 0311 X. So two models to choose from. The X being the better player's model, if you like. Slightly smaller head and profile. What makes this so good? Well, performance ultimately, 
There's some changing in the weighting system, which I'll explain to you later, but overall, it just performs incredibly well. And the big change between this Gen 5 to Gen 4 is how they look as well. So some big changes in this club. But can it get me out this rough in my little uh, nine-hole challenge that I've got going on? With a ball plenty above my feet. Let's grip down just a tad. Don't let me down. Oh, that's a golf shot and we're back in play. So I think a simple and straightforward question to ask is, well, why and do you think this is maybe one of your favorite products of 2022? Well, first of all, it's about the technology and it's about this sole weighting system. Basically, it comes as standard with a light 2.5 gram and two 10 gram weights. So why is that important? Well, it makes custom fit that much more customizable. You can change so much in terms of this weighting system, but that's the standard setup. But there are numerous weights that are available which make considerable changes to spin, to draw or fade bias, and very much adaptable to your swing tendencies. And then you couple that with the changeable hosel in terms of loft and lie angle, and there are significant differences. But the weighting system is quite unique, and that's the first thing that makes this a real interesting product in terms of hybrid technology in 2022 but there is more and some of it is negative now you all know the drill by now and uh, what i want is uh it's pretty much irrelevant what my favorite product of 2022 is i really want to know is what is yours is there something that has particularly stood out in terms of uh, helping your game help you lower scores or maybe just help you enjoy the game a bit more because i think there's more to golf than just your score i think some golfers just need a little bit of a help and assistance getting that ball up out and airborne and getting the enjoyment from seeing a shot fly through the air i think sometimes people forget that and that's why again this genre of hybrid is so so good for average golfers and why i continue to be an advocate of that product line anyway back to my more serious game this is actually to save par It's got to roll out a bit. It's a good line as well. Oh, that was a really good line. Ah, dear me, and Right, we're going to be positive. We know the line. We've just seen it. We said it was a good one. Ah. Well, why don't we get on to the negative because everybody loves a bit of negativity. And apart from the fact it's just left me in the rough off the tee when I was playing for, uh, obviously for the fairway and a bit of safety with hybrid in hand. Well, there's another piece of uh, bad news coming your way. Well, we're back in play. Get over that bunker, go. Oh, and it did. The, well, the issue is the negativity is the price. I mean, the new Gen 5 driver has been released at 499. Now that puts it right up at the top end with the uh, the Callaways, the Titleists, the Taylor Mays of this world. I haven't got a problem with that. That's the price. Whether you want to pay it, that's up to you. But and arguably the same technology or the same theory is in the drivers there is in the hybrids and the fairways. But the fairway or the hybrid rather is priced astonishingly at 379 dollars. Don't know what the price is in the UK as yet. But what that tells me is in terms of the sort of market position it's still very very expensive and going to exclude a lot of players or a lot of golfers in terms of their budget and what i don't understand is where the driver sits in with the price of those premium drivers but the hybrid and the fairways are so much more expensive and the question you've got to ask yourself is how much are you prepared to pay for that sort of weighting technology the extreme levels of customizability is that a word that this club offers because essentially that's what you're paying the big bucks for so what else is it that makes this club so special? In my opinion, well, uh, it's definitely the way it looks. That's another massive tick in the box for me. This crown has been changed from the Gen 4 model. I thought that in Gen 3, they had the best looking matte finish fairways driver head that there was, loved it. They then introduced that bold white line into Gen 4, which was uh, a bit of a Marmite product, which is again, a kind of love it or hate it type. And again, I was on the fence with it. I didn't particularly like it, but what they've done this time around is that has very much been muted again. You can see the difference between the face of the club and the crown. That crown is a fully carbon fiber, which has been 
it has a vapor effectively put on it, which is this pattern that you can see that appears, but that vapor is very important because it strengthens, gives rigidity and stability to that crown that ultimately is then found in reinforcing the face in terms of ball speed, in terms of a given. So it's very much about redistribution of weight, but to do that, that full carbon crown needs to be strengthened. So you see this kind of like pattern that appears, but for me, it looks so, so good at a dress and back to what I liked in terms of Gen 3 again. That's a golf shot because there's one final thing that I like this product for and why it is one of my favourites of 2022. Well that final thing is arguably what every golf club should be about in terms of you want to buy it or not and that's performance. It performs incredibly well as I've had a lot of the hybrids from other manufacturers this year which is why I've highlighted them as being such key products for average golfers. Performance factors that I like is the ball speed seem incredible uh, relative to the loft and relative to swing speed that I'm able to put on it that effectively the ball travels a long long way but again I've seen that in other hybrids as well this year, which is why, like I said, they've been so favorable for me. Um, they launch incredibly easy, the ball speeds are high, they travel a long way, and don't forget you're on a shorter shaft, you've got greater control, all those things are standard with every product, but this does it incredibly well. The ball, ball absolutely fires out there, almost to a point where you start to think, you know, how much are these now surpassing what was in a fairway wood or the, or the benefits in terms of the distance you get from a fairway wood. I'm finding that this is a four hybrid that I've been testing here this morning. It's well in excess of the sort of 200, 205 carry distance on virtually every shot that I hit. If I was to put a three in the bag, arguably that's gonna cramp, uh, creep up to sort of 210, maybe 215. So these are now in a position where the latest hybrids are almost where I think that greater control that you get from the shorter shaft yet again from the fairway woods gives them another good valid reason as to why they should be in the bag and these uh, 0311 from PXG Gen 5s my word seriously try them they absolutely fire the ball out there well there's one last thing that I just want to mention before we wrap this one up and that's just how good these clubs sound and feel and again I kind of leave that one out of the main review because it's something that a lot of people don't pay a great deal of attention to and obviously it differs from person to person in what they like in terms of sound and feel but for me it's got the softness back but again when you hit that ball you know it's just fired out the face feels superb. So for me, when I say about, again, I'm going back to this kind of tongue-in-cheek title, best product of 2022, what I would say, and to sort of put that into some kind of context, it ticks every box in terms of from a performance factor, it's really good. From a visual perspective, it's really good. But the bit that sort of tips it over the edge for me in terms of making that just extra bit special in terms of a product is that ability to, or the length in which you can go in terms of getting this product specifically customizable for you. Like I said, two 10 gram weights and a 2.5 as standard, but there's a weight kit option that you can buy if you like to sort of have a little bit of a mess around yourself. But if you go through the custom fit process, obviously they'll do that to best suit your needs and requirements. But anyway, look, it's been an amazing day here at Carden Park on a Cheshire course. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Hope you've enjoyed the review. Give me your feedback, some sensible feedback about what you think about these new releases, these Gen 5s from PXG. Are they gonna be given a go? on uh, this year for perhaps getting into your bag. Right, as ever, thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.